Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm just going to go over a quick update. I've been, you know, out and I went to Universal Studios Japan uh, just today, actually, and I just got back, so I'm going to do a short video today, and this is on the update in M Guitar Architect and M Cabinet. So those both got updates and has some really cool stuff, and there's actually a really big, cool update for M Guitar Architect. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to do that before M Guitar Architect is released. But today, let's talk about what is released uh, first, and that is M Cabinet. So M Cabinet, as you know, is a really cool plugin that allows you to simulate guitar cabinets. Now, what it does is it will allow you to mix different cabinets uh, together and kind of find an average for them for a sound. And that was great, but one problem was sometimes if you wanted to combine only certain types of impulse responses, what you'd have to do would be to make a separate folder and kind of move folders around. But now we can actually divide them fairly easily just using uh, keywords. So let's get into that quickly. Let's open cabinet here. I'm using this inside M Guitar Architect, but this actually works in the standalone M cabinet as well. I'm just doing this for convenience sake. So we have this here. Let's just go to blank. We don't need this. We're going to go into the edit screen here like this. Now, you'll see this in your M Guitar Architect or in the standalone in this menu here. Here's where we can analyze a folder like this. Now before I would do something like this and I have this folder V type and I can analyze it all kind oh, four things and just click okay boom and it would analyze everything in that folder so I think I have it here Ooh, down too far close that so I have the folder here and you see there's lots of different impulse responses and there's even some for different types like these room mics uh the R121, the SM57, etc. And so if I wanted to just analyze the SM57, it's not that difficult. Uh, in this case, I could just, you know, click on this and analyze it. But if I didn't have them separated, you know, it wouldn't be. So what we can do here is instead of doing that, we can go in here and just click SM, I think it's, yeah, 57. And then just put a semicolon at the end, click OK, and just analyze everything that had that tag of SM57. In this case, that's probably not that useful. However, what might be useful is if you look in here, you see these have different versions like dark, fat, balanced, bright, etc. And we have the same thing in here, uh, bright, balanced, etc. So let's say I think, you know what, all the balanced ones sounds, sound good, but I kind of want to mix those together. What we can do in here is the exact same thing and just click balanced here. Make sure the semicolons at the end, click OK. There we go. And we put all those together and you can even do more than one. I can do balanced and let's say SM57. So I get both of them. And by doing that, you can kind of exclude or include the different impulse responses you want in here. And this will save you lots of time. Before I had to you know, separate folders and I was copying and pasting things and it'd take too much time. This is very easy. So that's it for the cabinet. Let's go into the other thing that's really cool. This is only an M guitar, M guitar architect, however, and that is this impulse response loader. Now you might be thinking like, why you have that? You already have M cabinet. Now, of course, M cabinet's great, but sometimes you don't want this. You don't want like the, the average. You want just an impulse response you have. Maybe you want to mix like two or three together manually and adjust the volumes and everything. This might be better. Now, as you see here, we have a lots of different impulse responses, but these are all reverbs. So if I play something like this, it's not a cabinet IR. These are just, you know, uh, halls or plates in this case, etc. What you can do is just click custom path go into here and just find it wherever it is on your hard disk. Uh, if you're like me and you're like, that's too much of a pain. All you have to do is just take your folder here and we're going to just drag it over into here and we'll open it in here like this. This is great if you just want to browse through some. And you can quickly browse through the different IRs this way. It makes it really easy to do for you. 
Um, also, this has widening here. Now, to be honest, most of the IRs aren't in stereo, but actually you do see here, they do have some stereo IRs. So if we look at the stereo here, let me turn off the reverb here. Go into our IR, let's listen to the mono one first. No width and stereo. Have a little bit of width. And with that, you can actually add some widening to it. And that's also sometimes good for your room sounds like this. On top of that, you have high and low passes if you want those. You can cut off the low end or the high end. Actually, it does a very good job cutting really high and really low. That's useful. And on top of that, what I really like is it has pre-delay in here. So if you're mixing multiples of these together, like you're mixing like three IRs or something, you can easily put some pre-delay on here and this will help uh, decrease comb filtering or it can just give you a little bit more room sound. I showed it in a previous video how you can do that and this is our all built in. And of course it has the normalized IR loudness. So that way in case you have a really low uh, IR, low in volume that is, this will normalize it. So they're all approximately the same volume. And then using the mixer module, which you have here, you can mix multiple IRs together. And if you're thinking like, hey, there's only four lanes here. What if I want to mix more than four IRs? All you have to do is just go into G modular here and you have four more to mix it here. So don't worry, as many as you want to mix, it's, it's no problem. So that's just this quick update. If you haven't checked it out, check out the 16.08 update. It has all the stuff in there and uh, you'll be all set. M Guitar Architect isn't released yet, but hopefully it will be soon with this and a whole lot more, which I'll be showing soon. So with that, if you have any questions, leave me uh, those questions down below. Give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.